Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We are so happy to have you guys here and happy to have you back for another book outlet unboxing. Today I have seven packages, two boxes, five smaller packages that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. If you are brand new to Book Outlet, be sure to check out my video up in the iCards and down in the description below that shares all the beginner tips and tricks that you need to know about how to utilize Book Outlet so you can get the best deals. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel, we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are gonna help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. We love Book Outlet and the fact that we were able to get brand new books from there at such discounted prices, sometimes as much as 75 to 90% off. And so one of the books we got a while ago in our Book Outlet haul was Precious and the Monkeys. And we loved that series so much that we went ahead and decided to buy the rest of the series. So we've got Precious and the Zebra Necklace, Precious and the Mystery of the Missing Lion, Precious and the Mystery of Meerkat Hill. These books are really fun, easy readers for your kids to digest. It sets place in Africa, and you've got a little girl who is learning to be a detective. All these detective stories related to animals. My kids really enjoyed it. We did the first one as a read aloud during our lunchtime, and the rest of them I'll probably just let my kids read on their own, but they enjoyed it so much they were like begging for me to get the rest of them. So we grabbed that. Speaking of begging for reading more, we loved the book, The Wow Robot. And we loved that one so much. And we read The Wow Robot Returns and I highly, highly recommend it. Well, after watching a video over with Leilani at Living With Eve, I realized that the author of that book also wrote a children's book called Mr. Tiger Goes Wild. So this just so happened to be on Book Outlet for a really affordable price. We love The Wild Robot, so we thought this would be a perfect addition to our library. So I'm excited to jump into that and see what else this author has to offer. Next up is 50 States Don't Know Much About History. This book we actually already own, okay? So that's gonna sound a little funny, I realize that. Um, it goes through the different 50 states, it shares what the state is, what year it became a state, what nicknames it has, what is the state bird, a few fun facts, just a one page spread for each and every state. Like I said, we already have this one, but our previous copy got damaged. Um, this past year, there was an unfortunate accident with the water cup. And so when I saw it so affordable, I think it was like four or $5 on Book Outlet, I had to snatch it up. Next up, we have some early readers talking about different historical events. Eat My Dust, which is about Henry Ford's first race. Johnny Appleseed, Dust for Dinner, talking about the Dust Bowl. We've got some Usborne readers. Now, in previous video, I had mentioned that the Usborne readers, when you get them through, when you get Usborne books through Book Outlet, that they are ones that have been discontinued because I couldn't find them on the US site. However, I realized after listening to Megan over at Pennies and Salt that a lot of them are from the Canadian version or the Canadian website that they sell their service plus to book outlet. Either way, still super enjoyable and a great way to get good prices. So we have Les Mis. As you can see, it's obviously a condensed version, but a great one for early readers. And we also have the gunpowder plot. It says on November 4th, 1605, a traitor was caught beneath the House of Parliament about to kill the king. This is the incredible story of the gunpowder plot. It's daring beginnings, grisly ends, and how the plan went so badly wrong. And more easy readers that are based on historical figures, Billy and the Rebel based on the true Civil War story. We've got Sacagawea. Again, these books are great to have your kids read when they are beginning to read and getting, or when you have struggling readers that need something that's a little easier to digest, especially if you want them to get used to doing like oral narration or book reports on, those can be great ones to just kind of get started with. And then we've got Milton, the Early Riser. I'll be honest, I know nothing about this book whatsoever. However, it was a very affordably priced book and it has a panda on it. And my preschooler is obsessed with pandas right now. So I thought I'd grab her a little something since most of the books in this pack right here are for my school age kids. The next one is The Cat Who Lived with Anne Frank. We are gonna be studying this period in history this next school year. And so I thought it would be great to have a picture book on Anne Frank. And the fact that it comes from the cat's perspective makes it even more interesting as my oldest son, who is autistic, really, really, really loves everything having to do with cats and is automatically more interested if cats are involved. So I thought if we can tie in again his interest with a historical fiction, why not? Next up is a sequel to a book 
that I actually heard from Ryan over at Mama on a Mission. She had shared that her boys were reading um, about the boy named Bat. Um, and it's about a boy who also does have autism, who has a lot of sensory things going on. It's very descriptive in sharing his perspective. And he adopts a pet skunk. My kids listened to it on audiobook and loved it so much they wanted to get the sequel. Um, it wasn't available on audiobook at the time, and so we decided, uh, through the platform that we use, so we decided to get it through Book Outlet so my older ones can read it. They're really excited to dig into the next copy of that. This is a new one to us called Banner in the Sky. I can't remember if this is one that I heard about in the Read Aloud Club. We did a Read Aloud Club with a whole bunch of amazing YouTubers. I'll link that up in the iCards and down in the description below. I feel like I got this book from there because I'm not really recognizing it when I pull it out. Um, but it is about a mountain climber um, and that he is going to do what his father was unable to do and to finish that task. Um, so obviously I think it'll be a big win with boys, but if I did learn about it in a YouTube video in one of my friends suggestions of read alouds, I'll make sure to credit them at the end when I figure out who it was. This one is the day Gogo went to vote. It talks through a child's perspective, seeing Gogo, the grandmother who hasn't left her house in years. But when she learns that black South Africans will be allowed to vote for the very first time, Gogo announces she will travel to the polls and that Thimby must come with her. Illustrated in rich pastels, this child's eye view of a milestone in South Africa history allows readers young and old to experience every detail of this momentous occasion. So I just thought this sounded like a great book. Happy Adoption Day. This one, again, I don't actually know what's inside of it or how good it is. I will let you guys know later on that. But as you know, um, adoption is something that's really near and dear to our heart. We're in the process of um, looking for a match for adoption. And so anything having to do with adoption, we're always quick to snag. This one, guys, I'm so excited about this one. Seriously. This is called Remember 10 with Explorer Ben. Now, Obviously, I haven't actually read it, but this is why I was really interested in this. We have several kids who have struggles with working memory and remembering different things, whether it's because of ADHD or dyslexia or other struggles that we have going on. And so this one is actually supposed to be a fun story about Adventurer Ben, but working on different memory skills. So on the back, it says, test your memory. As you join Ben on this travels around the world, at each stop, you'll find a new memory tip to help boost those brain cells. It's easy to remember one or two items, but as the challenge gets harder, will you be able to remember all 10? And so you're going to be helping fill in the blanks of the things that he is missing, but they'll give you little tips on how to remember those things along the way. So I'm excited about that. Again, another panda book, Panda Kisses for my preschooler. This one we actually already have a copy for and it's actually a gift for a friend, but it is a mother for Choco. This one is a favorite for adoption. I really, really love this one. It's about a little bear who adopts um, a bird and it's just a really sweet story and a great picture of adoption. Next up is John Adams Speaks for Freedom. So again, another one of those historic early readers. And this one was a fun extra I just added, which was a times table pull the tab book. And so there's different tabs and you can, it's dry erase. And so your children can work through many of their multiplication tables. Oh, I see here. Okay, so it shows like your two time tables and you can pull it down and it'll reveal the answer or you can push it back up and it'll leave a question mark for your child to solve. So they'll solve here and then they'll pull it down to check their answers. So I just thought this would be great as we're always working on multiplication tables. We've got another early reader, which is Albert Einstein. We've got Jesse Owens that we're going to be reading about. The War That Saved My Life. You guys will notice that I actually had the sequel to this that I showed you earlier. I talked all about how we had the first book already. So I got the sequel and then when I unpacked it, I realized we didn't have the first book. I had just put it in my cart multiple times and never actually checked out with it. So I decided to grab the first book. I'm really excited about this one. This is Let the Circle Be Unbroken. This is the sequel to Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, which made it on our favorite top read aloud list. So we're excited to get into the sequel to that. And so this is book four in the series, I believe. And then All the Days Past, All the Days to Come. This one is like book six. I think this is the last book in the series. So I'm missing one in between, but no worries. We will grab it. It's just when we find it this cheap, we're definitely gonna snag it for such a thick hardback book. Next up is Inside Out and Back Again. Again, this one I think popped up several times on that Read Aloud collab, so you'll be sure you wanna watch that to see other great ideas. But this one just looked like a fun one. I've had it again in my cart a couple of times, and then it's ended up selling out before I have had a chance to check out, which is a good tip for you if you are on Book Outlet and you see a book you like, 
and it sells out, keep it in your cart because it may come back in stock. Oftentimes a lot of them do. And finally, I have another book for our preschoolers. Um, so one of my preschoolers is obsessed with Panda and the other one is obsessed with Corduroy right now. So I thought we had all the Corduroy books, but apparently they have these fun extras, Corduroy's Garden here. So I got that for her and Corduroy's Hike. And so I'm excited to add these in and I'm sure she will be too. This one is Lisa of Wildeson Lane. Lisa of Wildeson Lane. It says Lisa has big dreams of becoming a pianist, but violence is spreading across 1930s Europe and threatening Jewish citizens like Lisa and her family. With few options, her parents decide to send her alone to the king to the kinder transport, a rescue effort that whisks refugee children to safety. Lisa finds a new home in London on Wilson Lane, where she befriends others searching for hope during World War II and uses her passion of music to inspire everyone around her as well as herself. So this just seemed like what a great one that would go along with our history read aloud as well. Another Johnny Appleseed book, which will be fun for fall. Man, look at those pictures. That's beautiful. And then finally, last but not least, is a line is a dot that went for a walk. So this is an inspirational book. It says that you can draw with freedom, creativity, and imagination and leave your fears behind. So I'm going to show you guys inside of this. This one looked like a really fun one. It has the color wheel in here. So it says, what would it look like if green had an argument with yellow? And so they kind of blend together and they say, what if purple was surprised to see orange? And so you're going to do have fun mixing the different colors. It gives you uh, different prompts to draw in. Make this page sad. Make this page excited. It says, turn these shapes into flocks of birds or turn these shapes into noses by adding other facial features. So it's just a fun drawing book that I'll probably give to one of my kiddos for art this year. I hope that you have enjoyed taking a look at all of these fun books. If you enjoy watching book unboxings like this, I will link the playlist right here where you can see all the different book unboxings that I have done. And be sure to put these on your wish list over at Book Outlet, even if they're not available right now. Like I said, they do come back in stock frequently. And if you wanna learn more about how to utilize Book Outlet to the best to get as many deals as possible, you can check out this video here as well. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.